Capricorns! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is actually from today, September 28th to October 11th. It's very dark and gloomy outside, so I actually put on some lights so you guys could see my face and the cards, of course. Um, I'm loving it though. I'm loving it though. I love gloomy weather. It's my kind of weather. Don't know why, it just is. I'm not a sun person, I'm a gloom person. Um, Capricorn. So for those who need my channel, I always go to my meditative session first and then I go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we're going to go ahead and do the tarot card reading, okay? So in the meditative session, Cappies, there was a lot of stuff that came through. The first thing, they actually showed me a card from the Lenormand deck. I meant to get it out before I started recording. First read of the day, guys. And I actually have a lot of um, obligations today, so I'm like doing readings sporadically through the day. So Cappies, this is the card they showed me, the mountain. 21 that breaks down to a 3 and that is the... Eight of Wands here, okay? This is actually a block, an obstacle, a blockade, energy block, whatever you want to consider it. You feel like there's a lot of stuff in your way right now, Cappies. Or honestly, for some of you, I feel like you're getting in your own way. Just being honest here, just being honest here, Cappies. Hang in there with me, okay? Capricorns, I feel like you have a lot of eyes on you. you. There's a lot of pressure on you, whether you're putting that pressure on yourself or other people are putting that pressure onto you, okay? I did hear Life Raft. So, for some of you, this is regarding your career. Some of you, this is regarding your family, okay? It could even be regarding your social circle. I do feel like it's career and family first and foremost, though, where it's like you've been the life raft for your family or your, your you know, your workplace. That's just a typical Capricorn thing. That's just what you guys do. <laughs> it's just in your nature. However, sometimes people don't realize that they rely so much on Capricorns, right? And Capricorn, you're in a time where I can feel it. You're feeling a little unsure of yourself or there's this yeah it's like some of you are not really feeling so sure of yourself or you're in a place of like having those obstacles where it's like okay i need to figure something out i need to figure something out almost like i need a little assistance right now like that's how some of you guys are feeling like i'm your life raft where's my life raft right <laughs> right cappies uh and because of that some of you are being a little hard on yourself don't do that cappies don't do that maybe you're messing up at work maybe you're not messing up at work maybe you're just trying to focus on you you know what i mean um there's this thing with Capricorns that most people are not aware of. Capricorns are usually the, the sign that uh, I could talk. Capricorns are usually the hardest on themselves and people have no idea. Like Capricorns will be really, really hard on themselves and they won't show it. They won't say it. They won't even give you a little hint that that's what's going on. So it's like, you know, if you're at work or like in your boss is like kind of getting on your ass or, or it's like, you know, kind of being hard on you because you're, you're the Capricorn, you're the performer, you are always on point, right? And maybe you're a little off right now because you're dealing with family or you're dealing with other shit, right? Um, and you're being really hard on yourself, but no one else sees it, right? Capricorn, that's definitely for some of you. Uh, I did also see a raven, okay? I did also see a raven. That could be a spirit totem for a lot of you. If you, if it is, you already know. Um, with the raven, I actually was getting a couple things. I was getting wisdom, I was getting secrets, and I was getting this uh, sense of power as well, Capricorn. And I, again, it's like, you have a lot of power, Capricorn. You have a lot of capability. You are the goat. The goat is very capable. The goat gets shit done, right? And it's almost like it's being hidden from you right now. It's almost like you feel like you can't like tap into your power, find your inner power right now, your inner strength, because you're feeling a little unsure of yourself. Some of you have experienced some setbacks or some of you have experienced um, something not really panning out in the way you expected it to, right? And so because of that, when that happens to a Capricorn, Capricorns can get shaken. They won't show it. They won't show it. The Capricorns, I can feel it from you. You're being really hard on yourself right now. I was also sensing a little bit of sadness for some of you. Okay, and that can come into play with Capricorns if something's not working out and you're being a little unsure of yourself, even if you're not showing it to people, that's what's going on on the like underneath the surface. Okay, so people in your life aren't exactly aware of this, so they're not really being easy on you, or they might not be understanding, or you might not feel like they're being understanding. So you're kind of like almost suffering in silence a little bit, Capricorn, because you're wondering if you're capable of getting something done or if these blocks in your life, whatever these blocks are, will finally go away or you can finally get over them or you can finally talk about them. But Capricorn, you're also not asking for help. Let's be real. Let's be real, Cappies. You're not exactly asking for help. Sometimes we need to ask for help and that's okay. It's okay to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with that. It, we're all human. We all need help sometimes. So just keep that in the back of your head. For those where it's like you know you can ask for help, but you're not doing it, 
just keep that in mind, okay? Especially if like, you're, you have a family you're taking care of and you feel like you gotta do it all. Cappies, it's okay to take a step back and be like, hey, can you do this for the kids today? Hey, I really need to do this today. I, I need you to go out and get that or I need you to go and take care of this because I just need a little assistance today. It's okay to say those things. There's nothing wrong with saying those things, okay? Um, Capricorns, I was also picking up on, like I was saying, you're being watched. I do feel some of you in the romantic situations, um, are being watched by some romantic interest, okay? Maybe just one, for some of you it could be multiple, but it feels really intense. It feels really intense. And I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel super awesome. Like, you know, there's the like, oh, they're so cute, take a look at this, take a look at this picture. You know, it's like, there's that. And then there's, what are they doing? What are they up to? Borderline obsessive, okay? Borderline obsessive. I was getting, uh, I was picking up on that, okay? So Capricorns, just keep that in mind. And again, it's med it's everything I was picking up in the meditative session. So it's energy that I'm picking up within you. So you could be experiencing this energy directly or someone in your environment could be experiencing this energy or someone who's energetically attached to you. And it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa, okay? All right, so let's go and get into the pre-shuffle. Hmm. Let's bring forth messages of true feeling and love for those who need it for Capricorn, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From now to October 11th. Yeah, especially if you guys are like running your own business. Like, a career always comes in so strong for you, Cappy. It's what I do your reading. It just does. It just does. Whether this is, it could also be family because I'm getting strong family vibes from you guys too. Whether it's a family issue right now or a work issue right now, it's like some of you guys are really kind of struggling internally. Yeah, and you're just not letting people see your struggle. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now until October 11th. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Yeah, it's almost like a dizzying energy. It's like your, your thoughts are making you crazy. You're so stressed out. It's like whatever situation you're finding yourself in, that's either difficult or there's blocks or obstacles. It's almost dizzying for you, like trying to figure it out and trying to figure out how to deal with it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now till October 11th. Oh, Cappies, what did I say? Ten of Wands, Sag energy. Yeah, you're very stressed and burdened right now. You're very stressed and burdened. It's almost like, how am I going to handle this shit? How am I going to figure this out? How, how, how? Why, why, why? When is it going to get easier? When is it going to smooth out? Am I going to be okay? Am I going to get through this? It's all these questions going through your head, Capricorn, and you're not saying shit to anybody. You're not. I can tell. You're not saying shit to anybody about it. Hold on. Okay. Do you need my coffee? See what else we get out here. Keep in mind, guys, it's just the pre shuffle. Just getting the cards calibrated. Mm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, I did just see a praying mantis. Okay, I'm down for that. That's cool, Cappies. I like that for you guys. That's usually a very, very lucky sign, prosperous sign. Yeah, Cappies, you, got, you guys are going to be fine. It's just a rough period. You'll get through it. Some of you do need to ask for help, though. Okay, I'm just saying. Some of you do need to ask for help. And if you if you know that's you, you just have to admit it to yourself, Capricorn. If you know that's you, then ask for help, okay? We got a lot of Saturn energy going on right now, a lot. And that's going to continue into 2020. And the last eclipse at the end of the year, is it December 28th? I feel like it's on December 28th or 27th, uh, is in Capricorn, okay? Uh, and that's going to propel us into 2020. So Cappies, you're going to be in this energy and you're going to get waves of this energy for quite a while, all right? So... You can write it out. You can write it out. Just hang in there. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. Ooh, yeah. Three of Wands, Universe, Aries energy. Why isn't this working out? <laughs> Where are my ships? Where's my pot of gold? Where, where's the end game? And you know, Capricorns, oh, that's the other thing I want to mention. Capricorns, you guys are really good at seeing the end game. You're really good at seeing 
the end of the tunnel. Wait, why am I not in focus? Oh, no, I'm in focus. Um, you're usually really good at that. It's a very earth sign trait in Capricorns. You are the epitome of that because you are the oldest earth sign, right? You can see far ahead. That's why you're great planners. That's why you get shit done. So when something doesn't happen the way you planned it out to happen, you're like, what the hell happened? Where was the misstep? How did it not work out this way? And then you're hard on yourself and it creates blocks for you to the point where you really can't see anymore, right? In Capricorn, that's kind of what ha what's happening to some of you. You're so burdened by these obstacles, these blocks, whatever they are for you, you know what they are. It's, you know, you're the masters of your own life. You know your life better than I do. And you're like, God damn it, it was supposed to happen. And why didn't it happen? Why didn't it happen? Let's see here. Ooh, Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Some of you, there could be arguments in the midst of this. Um, uh, yeah, some of you, there could be arguments in the midst of this. Whatever that isn't working out, for some of you, not for all of you, for some of you, there are arguments because it, it has other people involved, whether it's business deals, work, family issues. I feel really strong family stuff for you guys. I don't know why, but I do I feel really strong family stuff for you guys. And whatever hasn't worked out has really been burning you. And it's almost like you're trying to... Capricorn, some of you are getting to that place of working hard or not smarter. You guys are usually good at working smart, not hard. Be mindful of that. Um, but because of that, you know, tensions are running high. Some of you have a lot of people who rely on you. And because something's not working out, um, arguments are, are emerging, tensions are rising, harsh words are coming out, people are getting snippety with you. Um, and some of you might have just full-on confrontations with someone, especially if like you're involved with someone romantically, or if you have a family and you're married, right? Or you're like you you, you co-parent with someone. There's a lot of that shit going down. Let's see what else we got here. You know, and that's the other thing, Capricorns. It's like Capricorns, they're like unsung heroes, to be honest with you. Because you guys do so much for other people, you get so much shit done. And the second you just kind of wobble, or the second something doesn't go quite right. People kind of jump all over you. It's just a Capricorn thing. It happens. It just happens. People jump all over you forgetting that it's like things are relatively okay or forgetting that you're handling all that shit on your own because that's, again, another Capricorn trait. And I feel like that's what's happening to you, Capricorn. It's like you're kind of getting jumped all over and you don't you don't appreciate it because you're like, God damn it, I put in a lot of work already. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like at the end of the day, we're all human, right? Respect your cappies out there cross watchers Let's see what else we got here oh that's a lot of cards we're not taking those though we're not taking those oh but we will take this one five of swords in reverse aquarian energy you just want fucking peace <laughs> you want peace of mind and you're having a really hard time getting there because you are being hard on yourself capricorn you are um i'm also getting that you want apologies <laughs> Kathy's, I love you. I love you. Whoever's jumping all over you, whatever arguments you're coming into, whatever, whoever's throwing you shade, whatever it is, Capricorn, you're kind of like, oh, you're totally in the wrong. It's like some of you guys are definitely feeling that way and you're recognizing that. But again, it's because you are, are already being hard on yourself. But people don't ever see that with Capricorns. People don't see that you're being hard on yourself because you keep that shit to yourself, right? You don't feel the need to share that. Like that's like a, such a Capricorn thing. Like you don't like to share your burdens with people because to you, your burden is your burden and you don't like putting that on other people. And the people around you don't see that. They just see why isn't that working the way Capricorn said it would work? Why isn't it happening the way Capricorn said it would happen? Why is it not happening because Capricorn's dropping the ball? That's the only thing people see. And because you're not like, you know, vocally being hard on yourself, people jump all over you like, well, you need to get the message. You already got the message, right, Cappy? You just don't put that shit out on other people. So you, are, you do feel like a lot of people are coming at you incorrect here, okay? Cappy's shit. Let's go ahead and get into reading now that we're almost like 15 minutes into it. Uh, those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these are very general messages. Like you heard me set the intention, messages come through for those who really need to hear them. So if it's not your week, it's not your week, and that's totally fine. Uh, we have a lot of readers on YouTube. Please go ahead and check them out. We are working with energy, so just know messages can be reversed or vice versa. And also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? You know, Capricorns, I'm also, sorry, I'm getting a download. Uh, and I feel like this is more for those in romantic situations or, you know, for those wondering about your romantic life here. Uh, I do feel like this is more for, no, it could be for married too. Okay, thank you. It could be for married people too. Okay. Um, 
where your partner kind of expected you to do something, right? Like that three of wands in a verse and then you didn't do it or it's something didn't happen the way it was supposed to, the way it was expected to happen, creating that burden, creating tensions. They might be lashing out at you, okay? They might be lashing out at you because you either aren't doing something you typically do because you're, you know, getting consumed with all your other obstacles and other shit and being hard on yourself and other aspects of your life. But I feel like for some of you, you do have a partner or romantic interest that is being hard on you because you're not acting in a typical way or you're not coming through and doing something they expected you to do. And then I do feel an argument kind of coming in from that, okay? Any messages for my Capricorns? Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love? From now till October 11th. Oh, I just saw an elephant. <laughs> Definitely someone's animal totem right there. Elephants are about wisdom too. A lot of like wisdom is being, oh, thank you. Needs to be practiced here, Capricorn. Ooh. Yeah, Cappies, a lot of wisdom needs to be practiced here. Look into your past, because I feel like some of you are repeating some situations here or repeating some patterns regarding how hard you, like you being hard on yourself needing to ask for help, knowing when to ask for help, and how to deal with people when they jump all over you, okay? Um, there's some there's some lessons to be kind of learned here, Capricorn. And you could have had chances to learn these lessons. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me, Cappies. Um, but this is another opportunity for that, okay? This is an op another opportunity for that, to practice some wisdom in handling situations the, the best way for you so that you can keep your sanity, Okay? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now till October 11th? And Cappies, if you're getting jumped all over, don't jump back. Don't jump back. Um, it's not worth your effort. It's not worth your energy. You got a lot of other shit to do, right, Capricorn? <laughs> right? You got a lot of other shit to do besides jumping all over people who are jumping all over you. If someone wants to jump all over you, they can do their own goddamn work, right? Right? Like, if it's your family and they're jumping over you because you're not handling something, they can go and handle it, right? Right. You got shit going on, Cappies. <clears throat> Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th? Oh, strength. Oh, you do need this, Cappies. Leo energy could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart, not necessarily, but, <clears throat> excuse me. But with a strength card, you're really needing to practice uh, <laughs> having a lot of willpower here okay having a lot of willpower in wrestling your own negative self-talk because like i said a lot of you are being hard on yourself i also feel this energy of control capricorn where you're kind of feeling like with people jumping all over you or your partner jumping all over you or things just, or again just you being hard on yourself that it's just like <sighs> you know you got to practice some willpower here in gaining control of the situation gaining control of yourself as well to refine your balance here because it's like Capricorns, when you just when you guys wobble, which doesn't happen often, but when you guys wobble, it can happen really quickly. You guys can unravel really fast because it doesn't happen to you that often, right? That's this energy of kind of like, all right, put my bootstraps back on, handling this shit, not listening to what people gotta say, just focusing on me, doing what I gotta do, and getting rid of the negative self-talk and not being hard on yourself. Being also kind to yourself, Capricorn. Being kind to yourself. That's also what the strength card is about. Um, tending to wounds, right? Tending to wounds, whether it's just actual wounds or you just being hard on yourself, okay? I also feel this energy, though, that um, getting that watching energy again, that watching energy. Capricorn, some of you are dealing with partners who want to have a leash on you. They feel like you pulled away too much or they feel like you have too much going on or they feel like you have too much independence. Pick your three. Pick one of the three, or all three, how it applies to you. But some of you are definitely experiencing that. Not all of you, but some of you are. And because it's like this distance is getting created, or that you have this independence, whatever it is, it's like, it's making them more upset with you. It's making them really irritated. It's making them irritated and anxious, and they might lash out at you because of that, okay? Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love from now to October 11th? Let's see here. Ooh, seven of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. Yeah, someone doesn't want you to have options, Capricorn. That's just like straight out the gate is what I'm getting here. Uh, someone does kind of want to claim you. It's like, why am I getting that? 
<laughs> like, you know, with horses, when they're breaking horses in, which is like, actually, I find that to be a very unpleasant thing, like in the visuals that I'm getting from it. Um, but you know, it's like, they kind of like try to tame the horse, wrestle the horse. That's actually what I'm getting, especially if any of you have like the horse, like the horse, you know, the horse. <laughs> Sorry, where are my words? Uh, like born the year of the horse, or if you just have horse as an animal totem. If you're that kind of energy, someone's definitely trying to tame you. Someone definitely wants to tame you, wants to claim you, wants to put you on a leash, wants to kind of like keep you with, oh, keep you in line? What the fuck, Capricorns? Keep you in line. Oh, that's not going to work for a Capricorn. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> no, that is so not going to work for a Capricorn. Others of you, this is about getting your emotions in check getting your emotions in check, getting your mind in check. Cause like I said, some of you are kind of, when you wobble, cause it doesn't happen often, you wobble and you, you crumble a little fast. Okay, especially cause you're being really hard on yourself internally. It's time to get that in check as well. Okay. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, four of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, and then we have the nine of cups, Piscean energy. Ooh, I like this, Capricorn. I like this. This is coming to a place of happiness. This is coming to a place of not, actually, they're telling me abundance. Typically, this wouldn't be abundance, but to me, yeah, no, it is. Yeah, okay, thank you. It's emotional abundance. Emotional abundance and happiness. Four of pentacles in reverse, though. Some of you guys might be spending too much money on partying, just saying, um, on indulging. So just be mindful of that. Some of you guys might be doing that uh, to kind of cope with how you're feeling, cope with the unraveling a little bit. So just be mindful. Um, but this is also about just like letting shit go and letting shit like fall off your chest, letting shit fall off your shoulders for a little bit and being like, holy, like, like, hold the phone. I'm important, too. Right. <laughs> Some of you guys will be coming to that realization. I'm important, too. It's OK for me to do my thing. It's OK for me to be happy. And this is also very single energy, a very independent energy. Like I said, some for some of you, someone wants to claim you. Someone wants to claim you and you're not really having that either, Capricorns. You don't mind if someone wants to step to you and show you a good time. You don't mind if someone wants to step to you and show you some love. Like a Capricorn loves being loved on. They love being loved on because Capricorns actually have a lot of love to give. That's why they usually take care of everybody. Um, but you, you, you don't do control. You don't do control. Have you ever tried controlling a goat? Like an actual goat? It's impossible. All right, two of cups. Uh, Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy here. Um, oh, Cappies. There is a lot of mutual love here that I'm getting for some of you, whoever's in romantic situations. There's mutual love here, but I feel like, I don't feel like you two are together. Like, I don't feel like you two are in each other's vicinity, especially with this very single energy here. But there is a lot of mutual love, but I feel like it's like quiet. It's kept at a distance. It's not being touched. Like, if it were a bottle of wine, it's still up in the fridge, okay? <laughs> it's still up in the fridge, not being touched. Oh, ooh. I kind of like that. It's getting to that ripe age. I like that. I actually really like that, Capricorns. Um, but I do feel for some of you, this person might try to come at you in a way that's a little domineering, a little controlling. That might put you off, Capricorn, and send you into more of a single independent mode, even though there's mutual love here, okay? So keep that in mind. That's for some of you. All right, let's see what other messages we got up here. If you guys are, if this is all family related for you guys, you do love your family and they love you. I think there just needs to be a little bit of a reminder of you know, of boundaries for those in family situations where you're taking care of family or taking care of family shit. There needs to be some bound, like bound, boundary reminders. Like it's okay to be there for your family. It's not okay for them to expect you to do everything. Right? Right. Any messages for Capricorn? Some of you, that's your lesson. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm getting a download. Some of you, that is your lesson. That's your lesson. You don't got to take care of everybody. You don't got to take care of everybody. Messages for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th. Let's see. Oh my. Yeah, what did I say about distance here? Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Someone feels like it's really unfair that you're so independent. I'm just being straight up with you, Cappies. Some, yeah, some, someone, someone feels like it's really unfair that you're very, very independent 
very self-sufficient because again it's like a lot of you that i'm speaking to you not only take care of yourself you're taking care of a lot of other people as well most of you it is a family thing um and there is a lot of mutual love here and i do feel like it's very active i don't feel like it's i loved them once upon a time no i feel like you two really do care a lot about each other you really love each other and again if this is family issue a family stuff a lot of a lot of love there in the family okay um for some of you, you could have been with this person and then you've taken a break or there was a breakup and it's an injustice, it's wrong, it's it's very imbalanced, it's causing um, an imbalance of karma that needs to be rectified. Some of you have been confronted by somebody in a very domineering way and you said, hell no. <laughs> you said hell no to that. Again, causing this energy of like, well, well, no, I want, I want us to be together. No, I want us to have a foundation others you're just like super super single and someone really doesn't want you to have any options someone doesn't want you to be single someone wants you to be with them and the fact that you're not together is really unfair in their eyes but it's not being discussed well at least as i can see it's not being discussed it's not being talked about and for those in that situation you probably haven't been approached by this person yet okay um the bottom wow oh we got a knight of pentacles virgo energy could also be earth or fire i, I heard building nest egg I, just, I seriously just heard building a nest egg capricorn i do feel like a lot of you have this energy about you of doing that for yourself especially when it comes to career especially in this time now where things are kind of wobbly you're a little unsure of yourself people are giving you a hard time you're trying to you're trying to do it slow um you're trying to do it slow because that's the best way to do it right cappies you know that every earth sign knows that it's like the earth sign motto <laughs> right slow why did i just hear low and slow oh some y'all are cooking oh yum some y'all are cooking anyway doing things slow is how things get built right and you know that you definitely know that for some of you this is this is the other person who is really interested in you romantically really feels like it's not fair that you guys are not together or not in a relationship of some kind either they were too domineering and you pulled away and said fuck that i'm doing my own thing even though there's love there um or you're very, very single, and this is someone who wants to come in and tame you, like taming a horse, um, but they haven't done it yet. They haven't done it yet, and they're looking at you from afar, okay? I de again, I definitely feel a lot of watching. I just don't like the level of watching that I'm picking up on, because for some of you, it feels a little obsessive. I'm just being honest with you. For some, it feels a little obsessive. Oh, I just heard sexually obsessive as well, okay? All right, so let's look at strength with seven of cups in reverse. Str strength first and foremost. Um, a lot of stuff going on with that strength card. Use Rider Wait for this one. This is gonna be a long reading. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be. Tell me about strength for Capricorn. How are we doing on time? Okay, I'm good. Tell me about strength for Capricorn. Regarding love. From now to October 11th. Tell me about strength for Capricorn. Regarding love. From now to October 11th. <clears throat> strength for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're drawing me back in here. Guys, pre watch your spending. Who Some some are truly spending almost too much on like food or booze or just good times here to try and relax. There's nothing wrong with pampering yourself. Just watch your pentacles. That's not a typical Capricorn thing, but if you guys are, are, are you know, spiraling, that can happen with Capricorn soon. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th. One more. Cool. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Capricorn regarding love. Ooh. Hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, what did I say, guys? Spiraling. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely about getting your emotions in check because you're spiraling out of control a little bit internally. Again, you're not showing that to anybody. You're not saying that to anybody, but it's happening within you, okay? Because things either aren't working out the way you expected and you're kind of panicking a little bit, um, or you have some blocks going on, or you're kind of doubting yourself a little bit, or you're being too hard on yourself because of this energy, Capricorn. This is instability, not being sure of yourself. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse is also feeling that lack of passion, lack of creativity. Some of you could have been losing passion for the work that you're doing. Um, either way, Cappies, you got to regain that control here, okay? Um, I'm also getting this energy of someone really, again, really wanting to you to not be single. They don't like the fact that you're independent. 
They don't like it. They don't like it at all. It almost makes them angry. I don't like that. It almost makes them angry and frustrated. Because, yeah, because the further you get, because the further you fall into your independence, the less energy you're giving them, especially if they've already exhibited kind of domineering energy with you, um, the more you're just like, yeah, no. <laughs> Tell me about strength. Ooh, yeah, judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Not surprised this is coming out. This is coming out for a while, guys, because of all this karmic energy that we're dealing with. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a big rift with you in this person. Yeah, I feel like there's a big rift with you in this person, and they really don't like it. They really don't like it. Again, more of this energy for those where this is like an internal struggle. You're really spiraling, Cappies. It's okay to ask for help if you need it. Really, it is. Tell me about strength. Struggling to find the answers too. Struggling to find the answers, struggling to find the resolution, the solution to this internal struggle. And for that person trying to tame you like a freaking horse or a goat, <laughs> uh, they feel like it's really unfair. It's a really unfair situation to them in their mind. Tell me more about strength. Yeah, eight of swords, Gemini energy. Cappy is like I said, for Lottie with this internal struggle, it's, it's making you more blind. It's making you harder. It's making it harder for you to see the end goal, the end game here. You're feeling a little stuck in it. You can get out of this. You can get out of it. You just gotta take some time. You gotta take. You gotta take a step back, Capricorns. Take a step back for those struggling with with this internal turmoil here. And again, for this person who's trying to tame you, trying to control you, like taming a horse. I don't like the word control, but it is kind of how it feels. Because and it's because, like I said, some of them are obsessed with you. Some of them are obsessed with you, and they don't really know what to do about it. Overall energy. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Wow. Knight of Cups underneath that. Piscean energy. Hold on. Get it to focus. Knight of Cups. Piscean energy. Could also be water or fire. And then we've got the Seven of Pentacles underneath that. Taurian energy here, okay? Capricorn, this person really wants to invest in you. <laughs> this person really wants to invest in you. They want to show you love. But I don't like this energy of, like, taming you. I don't like that. And it's because you're, you're independent. And, and they don't like it. They don't like it, but the seven to the ten, they're already they already kind of have a plan in place, is what I'm getting. They've been working on a plan. Some are just getting this plan started, some are coming out of that planning stage and going into action mode. This is planning, this is taking action, this is getting to the to the end of it, right? For a lot of you cappies, your internal turmoil is also about this energy of you trying to reevaluate your steps here, reevaluating your plan of like, okay. I thought this was going to happen. I wanted it to happen this way. It didn't happen this way. I need to figure this out. I need to get control of myself and get myself back into action and get back to my Ten of Pentacles plan. <clears throat> Very Capricorn. Mm. Let's move on. So the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Cups. This wish fulfillment energy, this being really happy and single and dependent kind of energy. Um, there is a lot of happiness here, Cappy. I can feel that. But it does feel like a single energy. It does. So let's look at the Nine of Cups. Mm. I use Gilded for this one. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th. Some of the Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love. From now to October 11th. Some of the Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love. From now to October 11th. One more. Okay. <clears throat> Some of the Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love. From now. Ooh, the fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. I feel like this is about your plan, Capricorn, for those where it's like you're just trying to get control of yourself internally to get to your Ten of Pentacles. Whatever your Ten of Pentacles is, a lot of you is relating to your career. For some, it's also restoring that family dynamic because you've been taking care of the family so much, right? A lot of you, it's also your own stability, your own security. Could even be the long haul plan for you, whatever it is for you. You know what it is, okay? This Nine of Cups energy with the fool, this is taking a risk. This is taking a little bit of a gamble here, but it is making you happy. It's making you happy. Again, careful of the partying. <laughs> careful of the overindulging here, okay? 
Again, live it up, but just watch your pentacles. Just watch your pentacles. Spend a lot of money here for some of you, okay? Oh, so you guys going on a cruise. Congrats, that sounds like fun. Um, anyway, anyway, Cappies. Um, there's a sense of needing to take a risk here to be happy. Some of you could be doing a full-on career change. Some of you could be, you know, switching um, environments. Thank you. Environments um, or just trying to go out on your own on something. Some of you could literally just be going out on your own on something and just getting away from everyone for a while. I feel a little bit of vacation energy here. Emperor on the bottom, by the way. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups. I just heard Pisces. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love. Neptune goes direct at the end of November. Some of you, this energy might play out all the way through to November, okay? The sun. Ooh, Cappies, I like it. Leo energy, yeah. There's a gamble you, you know you have to take and you know it's leading to happiness. You know it's leading to freedom. Whatever this little risk is, it's gonna be different for all of you, but it feels really good, Capricorns. It feels really good. For some of you, it is an investment. Like I was saying, Seven of Pentacles is an investment energy. It's also reevaluation. Why aren't these cards holding up? It's also reevaluation. So, Cappy, some of you might actually be taking out a large sum of money here to make an investment. A risky investment, but it's something that you feel like is really going to pay off and bring you, <laughs> bring you a lot of happiness, okay? And sometimes it takes money to make money. And it's Capricorns, you also know that. Um, but if you're doing that, just really, really make sure you go over it with a fine tooth comb, okay? Some of the Nine of Cups. Some of you are also just taking a shot at, at singlehood, honestly, um, away from this person for those in that scenario. This is being happy in singlehood, being happy in independence, being happy in making your own decisions, and being happy in taking risk in life. Talk about Nine of Cups. All right, so I got three other cards here. Ooh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Now I got a Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, could also be fire or water with the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy, and a Knight, not a Knight, a King, excuse me. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air. These are two people, Chariot in reverse, I feel like something is really not working out between these two individuals. Capricorn, the energy on this is weird though. Why does this feel so weird? Why do I feel like you're removed from this? I mean, this is someone taking a shot at singlehood, without a doubt, letting things go, going into singlehood and taking a risk and doing it, going towards a happy place. And Capricorn, this could be you and this other person just deciding like to put things on hold or you deciding to put things on hold. But why does it feel weird? Hold on, there's something else deep going on here. Oh, okay. Capricorns, this is interesting. Whether you're male or female doesn't matter. Cappy, I do feel like you're this King of Pentacles in a verse, dealing with the Queen of Wands in a verse. I feel like first for those of you, some of you, some of you, excuse me. For some of you, this Queen of Wands in Reverse is watching you. This is the person that's kind of pissed off because it, they've been wanting to kind of tame you a little bit, wanting to tame you like a horse, honestly. And you haven't been playing along with that. You're not cooperating with that. You're breaking away from that, breaking into your own your own independence even more, even more, because you're already pretty independent, but even more independence for yourself, okay? That's for some of you, but there's, I can feel it. There's something else big going on here for, for a couple of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Capricorn, like I said, some of you are being watched. Some of you are being watched. Those of you who've been single, you're being watched here. You're focusing on work. You're focusing on your pentacles, trying to get your shit together, and you're making big investments here. You're living it up in the single life, trying to just be happy, trying to be happy, find your little place of peace. All the while, someone's watching you, and they're getting really pissed off about it. They're getting really jealous. You got a hater here. No wonder that didn't feel right. Yeah, obsessed. Cappy, someone's obsessed with you. Someone's obsessed about your strength, your confidence, your independence. They don't like it. There's something about it where it's like, they're envious and jealous and hating you at the same time. You know what I mean? Because it's like, they see that you're a risk taker. They see you're a risk taker. They see that you're willing to make the hard decisions to do what you got to do to get to your Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like this person doesn't know how to do that. Yeah, for some of you, this person doesn't know how to do that. And they're very jealous of you. Cappies, I'd be careful here. 
it just feels very intense, okay? This could just be in the workplace. I do for a lot of you, it's in the workplace. Yeah, for a lot of you, I do feel like it's in the workplace. Actually, let's get the little Norman deck out here. Oh, by the way, overall energy for the Nine of Cups, we do have a, oh, I knew it. I knew it. We have death, scorpionic energy, and look what's underneath that. The king of wands in fucking reverse. Excuse my French. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Yes, someone's pissed. Now you got three people here, Cappies. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Now you got three people here. Three people. A king and queen of wands and a king of pentacles right in the middle, Cappies. I do feel like this is your energy. And you got two people over here. Some of you... Jesus. Some of you, you are not in a relationship with this person because there is another person. I know I felt some shit like that. Yeah, Cappies, some of you who are very, very single, you're being watched here by someone who I do feel like is in a relationship with someone else, someone who is a soulmate um, or a true pair situation, but it ain't working out so well. And they're pissed off at you, Capricorn, because you're getting more and more independent and they feel like they're losing their chance at you. Okay? They don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be independent. They don't want you to be happy without them. Wow. All right, so using the little Norman deck, I know a lot of messages for a lot of Cappies out there. And like I said, it's gonna be a long reading. We're at 40 minutes already. So they're not happy about this. For those in that third party situation, that's only for gonna be for a couple of you, not all of you. Some of you, this is about you breaking away from a current partner because you need that independence and you need to chase your pentacles. You need to chase your dream. You need to chase your abundance and your happiness, even if it means taking on a big risk. For some of you, it's also requiring a big investment. Now, let's take a look further at this energy here i'm really curious about this set because there's just a lot going on there so we're gonna look at that set oh man cappies no wonder you're stressed we have the female here with the ace of swords so truth 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 is being found out we got the mountain on the bottom again actually can't believe that made a little appearance wouldn't be surprised if it comes out what's going on with this female Cappies, I don't even feel like this is you. You could be a female, but I don't feel like this is your energy. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone trying to gain clarity on a situation, like trying to figure out what the truth is, all the details. Thank you, all the details. This is a female who's trying to like, look, yeah, get the bigger picture on the situation, but I don't feel like it's you. I really don't feel like it's you. <sighs> tell me more about this set right here. Spirit, tell me more about this set. Ooh. We have the anchor with the woman. I just heard obligation. Nine of swords energy attached to this anchor. Anchor is about permanence or feeling really tied down, feeling really, really stuck. Feeling really, really stuck here. And a sense of obligation. Whatever this energy is, it's a, it's a negative kind of obligation. Not wanting to be stuck. Not wanting to be tied down. And Capricorns, like I said, I don't feel like it's your energy, but I know it's like you're very independent already. I don't feel like you feel stuck I in in a certain uh, romantic situation. In work, you could feel a little tied down because you're, you're unraveling a little bit internally. I know a lot of messages. Hold on to everything, guys. Take it as it resonates. Because like I said, things aren't working out the way you expected it to. And so you're like, why the hell is it not working out? And so some of you guys are getting a little blind to the end goal here, okay? But I feel like this is a different energy. Like someone feels, someone, thank you. Someone feels obligated to this person. Someone feels obligated to that person. Tell me more about this set. Yep. House. I knew it. King of uh, Cups here with the energy of four. Yeah, someone feels tied to their family. Someone feels tied to a domestic situation or just stuck at home. Just stuck at home. They also want you to be tied down at home, Capricorns. For those in that con who have that controlling energy that they're dealing with, someone wants you to be tied down at home. Keep in mind, guys, it's about to make a second video, so we might lose one second. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Tell me more about this set here. Overall energy, we've got the broom. Ooh, and we've got the new path here. And then we have the moon, which can indicate work in this deck, okay? We've also got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy Capricorn, and you're attached to the new path here, okay? With the Eight of Cups moving towards the Ten. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of different messages for some of you guys. So for some, you're dealing with a person who feels 
like they're obligated to a feminine energy or obligated to a wife or a husband or obligated to family, like very, very stickity stuck, okay, in a very kind of negative way. Others of you, they want you to be stuck at home or stuck in a family situation with them in a domestic way. But the truth of it is there's a new path being paved here. Whether you're making it for yourself, Capricorns, or someone's coming to get you, okay? But with the moon, it is indicating work as well with this new path and the broom is all about cleanup and making things right and also getting the dirt out of the situation like i said truth right ace of swords uh getting the dirt out of a situation getting the truth to come to light here capricorns you're going to figure out who this jealous person is they're going to reveal themselves definitely in october for some november yeah i know a lot of messages guys again go back if you need to now we have the two of the cups of the four ones in verse and justice in a verse. Let's look at justice in a verse and then we'll get some advice. Mm. Steampunk. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know which one I want to choose. All right. Tell me about justice in reverse. Yeah. For those in that third party situation, I feel like someone feels stuck at home with someone, even though they really want you and they see that you're single and independent and they don't like it and they want to come after you. Um, for those where you're very, very, very single, someone wants to tie you down at home, you're not about that. You're not about that. Others of you feel like family obligation is getting to you and that you need to break away and break break away on your own path. Some of you could be moving out if you live with family as well. Tell me about justice in reverse. Got a lot of stuff going on for you, Cappies. A lot of stuff here. Tell me about justice in reverse. A lot of change. A lot of change. A lot of change. Tell me about justice in reverse. Either way, you're not going to be controlled. You're also not going to let any jealous people get in your way. You're not going to deal. You're not going to put up with any haters. And if someone wants to jump all over you in a negative way, you're not hearing it. You're not having it. You're going towards your stability and your peace of mind and your happiness, no matter what, Cappies. No matter. Oh, I just heard. No matter what, you have to sacrifice. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. From now to October 11th. Okay. Tell me about justice in reverse for Capricorn. Tell me about justice in reverse for Capricorn. Gabby's, you are so being watched. Sorry, they keep bringing that up to me. I think some of you guys are not aware, but you're really being watched heavily, okay? Be mindful of that. Especially with these haters and jealous people in the midst. Tell me about justice in reverse for Capricorn. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. The disappointment is from the other person. It's not from you because you have the nine of cups upright. You're very happy here, okay? You're very happy chasing your dream, chasing your happiness, chasing your stability, chasing your sanity, okay? Um, but this justice in reverse, someone's really disappointed. Someone could also be drinking a lot, partying a lot. Tell me about justice in reverse. Oh, Cappies, yeah. Hair font in reverse, Torian energy. They're upset that they don't have this commitment with you. I mean, look at these energies. This could also indicate divorce here for some. If it's divorce, I don't think you're getting divorced. I think it's someone you know or someone you, in your family or someone you're energetically attached to getting a divorce because we have justice in reverse, hair font in reverse with the four of wands in reverse. This is epitome of divorce energy, okay? And like I said, I don't feel like it's you. If you're the one who's just kind of focusing on your happiness and your sanity, I don't feel like it's you getting a divorce. I feel like it's someone else, okay? Again, it's someone you're energetically attached to or something going on in your family. But this is also about breaking loyalties, breaking bonds, breaking contracts, rebelling. Someone look at, looks at you like you're a rebel. And I don't even think that that's necessarily true. I just think you're really independent. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Capricorn. And now we've got the tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it is Mars. Oh man. I feel like this is a, a pending, a pending tower, a tower to come in. Talking about justice in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now to October 11th. Oh shit. The tower with the ace of wands in reverse. This is a tower coming in. It feels really explosive. Why do I feel like someone's losing it? 
if you know someone getting divorced or you're attached to someone getting divorced, because like I said, I don't feel like it's you, Cappies, but it could be vice versa. Um, it's happening in a very explosive way. It might even be a drunken argument. Hold on, if I can pick up this, these cards. It might even be a drunken argument that starts it. Um, Capricorns, for some of you, this person is coming in. Whether you were in a relationship with them or you're very, very single and they have their eyes on you very intensely, they could be coming in and it could be very explosive. There's a lot of passion and fire behind this. And it, it's going to catch you by surprise. It will catch you by surprise. Tell me about justice in reverse. I, why do I keep feeling anger, though? I don't like that. I think someone's just been sitting with these emotions for too long, Capricorn, and, and they're kind of exploding. They're kind of exploding. Uh, I just heard you guys go in the gutter. I'm just saying maybe that's not too far from the truth <laughs> to explode in that way. Tell me about justice in reverse for Capricorn regarding love from now till October 11th. Ooh, we got two other cards out here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, someone wants to blow through your walls, Capricorn. Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be seven and seven of wands in reverse, Leo energy. Someone wants to blow through your walls here because they feel like you're getting farther and farther away, further and further into your independence. And because of that, they feel like you're also being a little guarded. They want to blow that down. Yeah, I, I really feel explosive energy with this Capricorn. So be mindful of this because I, I feel like you're because you're so tuned into yourself and your own internal turmoil about being hard on yourself with whatever hasn't been working out. That's what you're focusing on. You don't see this coming. You don't see this coming. This is an explosion. Okay, this is an explosion. You guys are so dirty. I just heard in their pants. Yeah, maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe. Because um, there's a lot of sexual energy here too. A lot of sexual energy here, a lot of fire, a lot of passion, but someone wants to blow down your walls to make things right, to make things balanced. Someone's going to come in really vulnerable too. And careful, some of you guys really might get a drunk phone call or a drunk approach by this person. Um, yeah, I feel like they're going to come in really vulnerable. Over energy, we have the Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy with the Six of Swords underneath that. Aquarian energy. It's because you got away, Cappies. You got away. And they know that you're not happy with them for those who have a history with this person. For those who've been in a relationship with this person, who've dealt with this person, they know you're not happy with them. And they said, they said they're, wa oh, they're watching you. They're watching you. Like I said, they're watching you. They're watching you find your happiness. They're watching you find your peace. They're watching you get your, your sea legs back, watching you get your stability back, your abundance back. And the further you fall into that, the more you pull away from them, the more that they're kind of losing it. And they're going to come in very explosive here. Okay. Wow. Capricorns, get ready for that. Get ready for that. Let's get you some, let's get you some advice. Let's get you some advice. How are we on time? Okay, yeah, I'm good. Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? So like I said, guys, I know we got a lot of messages for a lot of different Capricorns. Just please take home what resonates for you, okay? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 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 Any, let's see here. Oh, I like it. What, what did I say about wisdom? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Turn knowledge into wisdom, Capricorn. 67, bring it down to a four. For your own stability, and I keep hearing for your sanity as well. For your sanity and for your peace of mind. Practice a lot of wisdom with, with what's going on right now, especially in regards to your, your pentacles. When it comes to your love life, I really, you know, you got stuff going on here regarding your love life, but I really feel like the wisdom is more for what's going on with you. You got to put you first right now, Cappies. You got to put you first right now. There's a lot of too, there's too much shit going on in your environment with your family, with people who are placing obligations on you, people wanting to jump all over you. You got to put you first. 
you got to get your own shit in order first. And then when that, when that, when that's all in line and all good, you know, then you can deal with these people. But I really feel strongly you got to put you first and practice wisdom in doing that. Okay. Especially when it comes to your money and those planning on really big investments. Now we've got, ooh, Coyote Spirit, Trust and Divine Detour, 16 breaking down to a 7, and Skunk Spirit, Know Your Worth, 54 breaking down to a 9. I love the Coyote. The Coyote throws curveballs, okay? Coyotes know the blueprint. Coyotes know the grand design. And when people stray or people are having a hard time, they throw the curveballs to get people back in line, to put people back in check. Capricorn, I feel like this is also for you to learn some lessons about your worth and about putting you first. And we were kind of touching on that already, where it's not your job to take care of everybody. Right? It's not your job to take care of everybody. It's your job to take care of you. And then once you're you're good, then you can take care of other people. I also feel like it's about this person coming your way. Whether it's someone who's just had their eyes on you for a while and they're making an approach, or it's someone you've been involved with that you pulled away from because they were too controlling, too domineering, or wanted you to just kind of be a house a house husband or a housewife and you weren't doing that shit. Because you're a Capricorn, you gotta work. A Capricorn needs work. Like I know a lot of people might disagree with me on that, but it's just true. Like, a Capricorn can be a housewife or a house husband. They can be very happy with that. They can make that their work. But a Capricorn needs something to do. <laughs> a Capricorn can't sit there and do nothing. A Capricorn needs something to do. A Capricorn needs that, right? And this curveball could be coming in to teach you a lesson here about this person, about your worth, about your standards, about what's important to you, and about, and about um, mm, self-respect respect in general oh thank you respect in general okay Let's see what else we got here any other advice for capricorns oh dear spirit bring a gentle touch 18 breaking down to a nine this landed right on the wolf and what was i saying earlier be kind to yourself be gentle to yourself be patient with yourself capricorn it's okay to understand that you might need help sometimes it's okay to ask for help and exercise wisdom in doing that if you do need help if you do need assistance but at, at the end of the day it's like things happen to us and, and you're human you're human you're not you know invincible you're not superman you're not superwoman at the end of the day it's okay to be a little vulnerable here and to ask for help in doing that it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make you weak, okay? Like I said, some of you guys are getting thrown, thrown curveballs of things not panning out to teach you some lessons about yourself and to get you back on your path, to get you back on track as well, okay? So if something's not happening with your money, be patient. It's happening for a reason and you gotta learn something there, okay? Any other advice for my Capricorns? Oh, I love it. Any other advice for my Capricorns? Mm. okay crow spirit co-create with spirit 17 breaking down to an eight the cousin of the raven so to speak or the sister of the raven as far as i'm concerned 17 breaking down to an eight that's abundance and success ahead for you and it's funny because what do we have here we've got nine eight we got two we got two nines we have two nines an eight and a seven wow okay that's very cool anyway so co-create with spirit. This is working with spirit. Spirit's trying to work with you here, especially with this energy of the coyote. Coyote is kind of like, again, it's, they're known as the tricksters, but I also feel like they're kind of like, I guess divine manipulators would be a trickster, right? Coyotes come in to teach you lessons, to throw those curveballs, right? Spirit's trying to work with you here to get you to a place that's best for you and to make sure you learn your lessons so that you can be ready for your Ten of Pentacles. Are you really ready to have your Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn? You might feel like you're ready, but there might be some other lessons you gotta learn so you can actually handle it, right? So you can handle the responsibility that comes with blessings of a Ten of Pentacles, because it does come with responsibility. People don't realize that. It does. Ten of Pentacles is family. If you're becoming a parent, that comes with responsibility. If you're becoming a homeowner, that comes with responsibility. If you're becoming a business owner, that comes with responsibility. And this is Spirit's way of making sure that you're ready to handle this, okay? Especially if you're ending up with someone uh, long-term to create a family situation out of this, whether it's someone who's just had their eye on you and they've been eyeballing you for a long time, um, or if it's someone that you have been involved with and you pulled away and they're coming back in, it's to prepare you to be ready to handle your Ten of Pentacles. So keep working with Spirit on this. And then overall, we have Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a 5. Again, Spirit is all over you. Spirit is all over you. 
Look at this. Spirit's all over you. Spirit wants the best for you. And everything happens for a reason. You might feel like things are not working out. You might feel like you got some blocks and obstacles going on. You might feel like you can't get up from under this. You can. You can. It's to teach you a lesson about your confidence and knowing your worth and knowing what you can put up with and knowing what you can't put up with. And it's going to help you handle your blessings later on. Okay? So just know that and keep the faith. Even if you got to go back to the drawing board and be gentle with yourself. Ask for help when and where you need it. Right? Taking a step back as you need it. Go back to the drawing board and then you can get to your ten of pentacles. Go back to the drawing board, remake your plan, remake your business plan, your life plan, whatever it is. Then get on your horse and start moving, start making moves and you'll get to the ten and then you'll be ready for it. And then you'll be ready for it. Okay, Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and I will see you guys later. Have a great week and a great night. Namaste.